Hi, I am Sentimus Prime, and here I will be unboxing a another bootleg called called Fire. It's a bootleg of the Fire Chi Cracker from Chima, the Fire Chi one. Now, first thing I've noticed. Let's get to it. First thing I've noticed about this set is it doesn't come with any like instruction manual like you see with my previous unboxing videos they've always come with like an instruction manual well not with this one it's not i get it's not really that big of a deal it's be because like you, you can just build it online it's like pretty simple so let's get to it here's bad parts and here are some loose gold parts this, I found out, the reason for this is because I found out that some of the parts in the bag are either missing or, or broken. And not like cracked type of broken. You'll see what I mean. So, let's get this packaging open, and let's see what's inside, and, ooh, here we have a bunch of parts, now before I get into these, I want to look through these real quick first the elephant in the room as some would call e yeah the chest plate for this set is completely shattered And that's why it comes with a spare chest plate piece. And something strange about it is the replacement parts, the shade of gold on the replacement parts is different than the on the actual set. I even have a part comparing the actual gold. And it's honestly pretty close. The parts here are surprisingly more metallic looking than on the official. Like, you see that? That's honestly kind of crazy. Anyways, get these parts, which I'm excited for. Get a few of these parts, which I'm excited for. These parts, also excited for. Do seem to be slightly brighter shaded. It also comes with some chi pieces. Odd. The official set didn't come with those. Get a couple of the old bionicle feet. Get one of these tail pieces and some armor and bones. Now we got those out of the way. Let's get into this bag. We'll get to the head last. Now here we have a bunch of smaller parts. Oh, whoa. The translucent bones and hand pieces look hyper translucent. Like you can see right through. The, you can see right through that hand. It's crazy. Here's like the Xamarin Sphere thing that would like plug into the chest. 
This seems to be like only molded in orange. Where I have an actual piece and it's it's like dual molded where it's like molded in, it's in solid yellow and in translucent orange. But here it's like a not only is it a brighter shade of orange, it's also like only the, that color. Interesting. I want to see how it fits. Doesn't fit too badly. I want to see how the official one looks. Yeah. The official part fits in nicely. So we have that. And oh, would you look at that? It comes with a couple of these fire chi pieces as well. Also, it didn't come with the actual set. So, hold on, is this the correct amount of spikes? Let's see. There's two for the legs. There's two for the arms and one. Yeah, I think this is the correct amount. I think. Oh, and the sixth one. Maybe it's a spare? We also have some miscellaneous technique bits. We have some technique adapters. We have something else I want to try. It's the Okay. Is it didn't crack on me? That's something. Comes off. Come off too badly. Okay. Pretty standard stuff. Arm bits. Snap. It's fine, I have spares. Come included. That actually came included. We'll try these out. Hey, these ones actually fit. That happened. Maybe not trust the pearly, the pearly gold parts. And he, ignoring that small issue for a second, here we have the pattern for it. And here's another thing: it's actually packaged like pre-assembled, and like one packaging, because in the actual set, at least for the normal G cracker. It came in two separate pieces, and it was like a special type of packaging where it was like one baggie that had like two like spots for the part for the for each half. Getting this done. So it's part. Wait a minute. Is this part? I think it is. I think this part is molded in translucent orange. This part. Yeah, this part too. These parts are bo both molded in translucent orange. It's just completely painted over. The these don't even fit. Like 
they don't even fit at all. And the paint job on the teeth don't look that great. The bottom jaw looks pretty nice. But for the top, now there's like random bits sticking out and the eyes look nice. The paint job on the eyes and the crest thing look nice, but this, the paint job for teeth look kind of bad. Hmm, maybe it actually, maybe in the, maybe it actually was molded in translucent orange in the actual, in the actual set. I don't, I don't know, I've never actually owned that. But yeah, the yeah the jaw piece ain't even fitting on. Uh, this piece completely snapped in half. Although it does come with spares, so there's that at least. Let's try this again. It happened again. So, final thoughts. The gold parts that it, came, it comes with, I personally don't trust them. This part has, some, has a couple major issues with it. And please say no one. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. And the and the replacement parts seem to be doing fine. I guess that's about it. Whew. Man. Oh, and these are loose. Craziness. Absolute craziness. These parts, they do look really nice, but unfortunately. Oh, wait. This part actually went on without breaking. Sweetness. Now I have this part. Let's see if this part works. Uh, that's going to shatter. Oh, actually not. Maybe I Maybe I can use those. Maybe. Ooh, overall, definitely having a hard time with gold stuff and the head piece is really not that great. Really pretty bad. But the rest of the stuff looks fine. The rest of the stuff looks fine. The rest of the stuff seems to be doing fine. Whoop. I guess that's about it. I'll be doing a... I'll actually be doing... A YouTube short to try to see if this can actually fit on the actual cracker head and I'll be doing and I'll also be doing another video on this I guess that's it for real these bye now I'll be seeing you guys very soon